In this third video, we're going to be looking at the role that style plays in our improvisation. The stylistic influences that we can draw on from the history of music to shape each improvisation in a very unique and beautiful way and bring lovely ambience and feeling. So this is the third parameter, the parameter of what we call style. So here's an example, something simple, a melodic minor scale of sorts with, in the key of C minor, with a bit of a push towards the time of J.S. Bach. What if we chose to play, we'll go back to one of those pentatonic ideas, taking a pentatonic scale, a minor pentatonic on D. giving that a little push in the direction of the indigenous music perhaps of, of America with the, the Native American flute or it's pretty close to what a lot of the Asian pentatonic scales sound like as well in the way they're used. Now just by changing the way that I play that scale I can come up with something a little bit different. Have a listen to this. that's going to the folk and blues sphere. So there's all these ways that we can give things just a little push in a stylistic direction. What about if we wanted to do something along the lines of say Arvo Pett or Vaughan Williams? But let's take a, um, a Lydian mode which has got that lovely raised fourth in it. So there's many ways that we can, we can just how we phrase notes. we can bring a different timbre and a different feel. Is it more romantic? What if it was a more like Schumann style? There's so many ways we can colour our music emotionally just by 
remembering what that music sounds like, what the touch of, the, say, the Romantic or the Baroque or some of the 20th century music, the way that moves, the way that the phrasing and the touch and the sound work, we can use that in our stylistic vocabulary to our advantage.